Greetings, good friends. It is a beautiful day today. It's time for an update. I'm on my way to my friend Lucy's house because I've left my charger there up that hill. Right, bye, 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 bye. Anyway, so what is going on? I've been on testosterone for 16 months now. I have my next libido shot in a couple of weeks. As for a uh, receding nurse, yeah, I guess I'm getting more of a male pattern by this side. There. I think that's that's kind of gone in a bit, but again, you know, it's, I'm not too worried about it. I've got a thick head of hair, and I'm happy to to have that kind of male definition. Things have settled in quite nicely, which is good. I can definitely do pull-ups and stuff now, and I'm not so afraid about stretching my scar. It's been eight months since my surgery. I had my surgery in January of this year. It's all fine. I think my nipples are okay. I've definitely used the bio oil and stuff like that. I wanted to talk briefly about the stuff that I've been putting on my chest. This first one is uh, colloidal silver. This is really, really useful for before all your wounds have closed up and afterwards as well. Colloidal silver is really good at kind of protecting your body. It's a great natural antibiotic. Aloe vera gel, I've been putting a ton of that on. You can also literally get the plants, break a piece off and rub that on your chest. I know a guy who's doing that at the moment. I was recommended this too, um, which is actually a lube, but it's a lot cheaper than the, the silicon gel that's out there and it's actually 100% silicon. I thoroughly recommend it. It's called Pure Pure. Lastly, this is something which is like kind of a scar cream. It's all in not quite sure what language that is, but I bought it from eBay and a really, really useful um, gel in fusing all your skin together. It seems to really do a good job in, in getting rid of scars. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been using. Just found this stuff, which is helpful. But yeah, I've just been a little bit like that and putting it on my scar and then just kind of rubbing it in a couple years time. My scars are going to be incredibly minimal. I had my surgery with Dr. Garamoni in Florida. It cost about 5000 sorry, close to $6,000, which works out about £4,000. It was probably about £1,000 after that, after flights and accommodation. I would thoroughly recommend going to see Garamoni because he's fantastic. BBC One, 7.30. Um, sometime in October, I'm going to be on Inside Out, which is kind of like an extended news program. Just looking at trans people in the workplace, and with any luck, I get to be a success story. I've been playing guitar. I bought a big old drum for like 10 pounds and it doesn't have to be for anything, but it's kind of cool to be getting back into that whole process because it's been a while since I had my own, I don't know, since I had an interest in it. <laughs> so yeah, my life is very, very full. In the past uh, month or so, I've been having a major work on my flat because we've got huge damp issues. But the result has been getting a really great bathroom and getting a really nice kitchen as well. The worst was over for about two and a half weeks where I had possibly one shower that whole time. Um, you know, obviously I you know did the birdie bath thing and I, I really love baby wipes and stuff like that because it's so helpful. You know, so I didn't stink, but it was just annoying. I just, you know, I love water and I love washing. Life's a test, right? I'm the new gender queer editor for Clitorati, as I was saying. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Mr. Penis. I'm, oh, <laughs> that's a slip. I'm going to be reviewing the Mr. Penis. Also, I've been doing some t-shirts and stuff. I did a uh, Pussy Riot t-shirt, which was really fun. We just whipped that up for a club night called Tramfrau in Brighton, which was really cool. And we're going to be, we've been invited to go back next month to Tramfrau to do more t-shirts for the masses, which is great. And we also had a good run doing a design I did for Pride that just says extremely proud to be me. It's kind of big. We sold, I think, about 30 out of 50 t-shirts. And we've got a few online sales as well. So yeah, things are picking up. It's actually really, it's such a pleasure to be at this position where I don't need to survive as such. My chest gave me so much dysphoria. And even though I'm completely in debt now, I feel like I've had a massive new lease of life. So I'm going to be teaching more courses on screen printing. And I'm also applying for Pick Me Up to teach some courses there. And that's kind of like uh, a personal goal. Like I'd really like to do that. <sighs> oh, health-wise, not so good as well. I went to see the doctor because I found that I had like a lump in my upper thigh. And also kind of on my back here, I could feel like a little lump on there too. 
and the doctor checked it out and he said that it, they were cysts but they were too close under the skin to be able to do anything and the lump in my thigh is in my muscle. It's a bit alarming for me because I try and keep my health. I, I never really get sick. I look after myself. I've got an, an imbalance of hormones and so I, I'm finding that really hard to treat at the moment. The body's producing a hormone but then you're kind of giving your body an extra dose of something else to override that. So obviously my body's being flooded with hormones and it's freaking out a little bit. I don't want to get to the situation in five or ten years time where I'm riddled with, with these cysts because that's, you know, that's gross. Um, it's also really, really dangerous because if they burst inside you, you can end up poisoning yourself. Let's see if I can get some sort of treatment for my friend who's on the holistic healer. She has vortex healing, cranial sacral, Reiki, all sorts of good stuff, osteopathy under her belt. So I'm hoping she'll have some good advice and some good treatment for me. I looked into Agnes Castus which I think is supposed to help regulate hormones. I'm going to look into maca, which is supposed to be good as well. Basically, I want to help treat myself without my body ending up blocking the testosterone that I'm putting in it. I just don't really know how it works, so I'm, I'm going to find out and I'll report back. <laughs> Thank you.